Hi, my name is Adrena Nicole Anzaldua, and I'm so excited that you are here. I am a shamanic practitioner, a spiritual teacher, as well as somatic therapist, and I am literally bursting with excitement over this course, Managing Psychic Abilities. So I want to welcome you as this part of the introduction. And what I want to start off with is that 20% of our population is considered energetically sensitive or have some sort of psychic abilities. And what I think is so interesting and so unique about this time that we live in right now is that there is such an abundance of resources and information out there for developing these psychic abilities. And so we see this in books, um, we see this in schools and programs and even on reality TV shows. And it seems like everybody is trying to tap into some sort of psychic potential, Sabrina, or even be like Harry Potter and get their, their letter from Hogwarts. And so it really is amazing to see our society becoming more accepting and more open to the unexplained, to the supernatural, the spiritual, and even psychics. However, with all of this openness and acceptance, there is a group of individuals who are often left out, who at least feel left out. And these are the people, perhaps like you and I, that who are already psychic, but they don't fully understand or even know how to manage these abilities. They may feel overwhelmed by the heightened senses, emotions, and experiences that come with a being energetically sensitive or psychic. They might even be searching and seeking guidance and support in some sort of a, you know, a teacher, but we are searching for guidance and support in a culture that really focuses on acquiring these abilities rather than managing them. So what do we do with that? <laughs> like, So if you resonate with that, you are not alone. So many natural psychic individuals struggle to navigate their sensitiv sensitivities and psychic abilities. I am one of them. Um, many of those of us who have natural psychic gifts have had some sort of intense experience or experiences throughout our life. And at some point, you may have even tried to suppress or even deny those gifts. It is really common to feel frustrated, angry, or even isolated whenever you sense more than what other people do. And also if this clashes with some spiritual or cultural beliefs. So the truth is, is that there is very little information out there to support those who are already psychic and for looking for practical ways to manage those abilities. And so most of those resources are catering to the people who want to become psychic. And what that does is that it overlooks the challenges and experiences of those of us who are already sensitive or psychic. And that is why this course is different. It is designed specifically for individuals like you who want to understand, embrace, and effectively manage their psychic abilities. It is going to guide you to develop healthy boundaries as well as learn practical tools and how to really integrate your psychic abilities into your everyday life. And so it doesn't matter if you are slightly more sensitive than the average person or if you possess highly developed psychic skills. This course will teach you the essential skills from beginner all the way to advanced to navigate these unique abilities. I believe that managing psychic abilities is not about suppressing or avoiding them. Things get really uh, hard and challenging when we do that. So instead, we can learn about them, learn how to embrace them, while still remaining functional and balanced in, our, in all aspects of our life. And so throughout this course, together we're going to be exploring the nature of psychic abilities, how they develop, you learning where you fall on the spectrum of sensitivities and psychic gifts. This allows you to focus on the tools and practices that you need at this time, to really empower you and to give you the confidence to effectively manage all of those psychic abilities. And so other courses 
have different approaches. And what sets this course apart is that um, I recognize that psychic abilities require a holistic approach. And so it doesn't matter your sensitivities or your psychic abilities and how they manifest. We all need the same skills, the same foundational skills to navigate those unique experiences. And this course gives you those skills. So this course is going to be for you if you are ready to take a journey of self-discovery, self-care, and empowerment, learning about yourself. Together, we're going to explore how to fully embrace your physical body while having psychic abilities so that way you can experience the joys and the passions of life while also learning how to navigate even the darkest places without being overwhelmed. As a psychic and energetically sensitive person myself, I want to share that being psychic doesn't mean that we have to isolate or retreat from the world. It is still possible for us to have fulfilling relationships and friendships and even have a strong sense of community. It takes the right knowledge, the right practices, and sometimes a mentor or a guide to help you to learn how to thrive as a sensitive or as a psychic in a world that might not fully understand you. And so whenever we work with our psychic abilities, we are gaining the direct experience we need to transform our life and how we interact with the world that is around us. I am so excited to embark on this journey with you. This is going to be such an amazing course that you can come back to at any time to develop, to cultivate, or simply just to learn more about yourself.